three, two, one. The day has come. Air power is officially canceled according to Apple. Officially, officially, officially canceled. Like they are completely done with the project and they are not working on this beautiful air power wirelessly charging mat. And now I'm gonna roll a little video in just black and white because this was what the product could have been, but it never was. The polished stainless steel band reinforces the water-resistant all-glass design. This new glass formulation, the most durable ever in a smartphone, enables, for the first time, wireless charging. Apple AirPower, even though it could have costed anywhere from $150 to $250, it would have been all worth it because it would have been the tie-in to the entire Apple ecosystem. I mean, just look at that software. It was gonna have some type of chip inside the air power to run that software. And you could charge your AirPods, two iPhones, your iPhone, Apple Watch, and AirPods. I can go on and on about any three key standard devices. It's just air power was the dream. But yes, Apple canceled it reportedly due to overheating issues. And that makes sense when you're trying to overlap all these wireless charging coils. That's gonna overheat fast if you do not have a fan in there. And the air power was supposedly trying to get to this high standard of Apple making it that thin. And I don't think you could fix any overheating issues if it's that thin. You can't really put fans in that, but hey, it didn't meet the high standards Apple was going to do. And I really think the rumors were true that Apple was about to put this into production or they might have already put it into production and they were like, Ah, our phones go to like 130 degrees Fahrenheit when we put our phone on there with other iPhones. I don't think it's gonna be legal to sell that. So they just ended up completely wrapping it up and throwing it in the trash can and Apple AirPower is officially, officially dead. And of course, yesterday was April Fool's. So we got a bunch of April Fool's jokes with Apple AirPower. You go to an is Apple AirPower out yet .com and it says, oh, it's out yet. But of course it's still not because it's an April Fool's joke. You got all these Apple news websites posting it's out yet, but it's not. And it's just a little too soon. I mean, at least for me, I was really looking forward to air power. I was like so hyped for two years. I was like, Apple air power. Yes, I cannot wait to buy that wireless charging mat. And then now, when I saw the news, Apple finally canceled it. I'm not finally, I really didn't want them to, but when they canceled it, I was just like, dang. And the first thing I did was search up the best Apple air power alternative. And that's what we're gonna talk about today. And I really like search up all these different ones. Nomad has like, some good chargers. I've looked at them before. I have my own singular wireless charger, but I want one to charge everything. My Apple Watch, my future AirPods 2, and my iPhone that could wirelessly charge or your Android phone, of course. And what I searched up was this charger called Slice Charge. Slice Charge was originally a Kickstarter product, kind of going for $100, but now you could buy it for $60 to charge your Apple Watch, your iPhone, and AirPods all for $60. And I'm like, ooh, that's a good price. I can't wait to try mine out in the future, and then I could officially call it the best Apple AirPower alternative review. But from what I found, Slick Charge is a pretty good option. And you have to trust me on this, no one wanted air power more than me because it was just gonna be so convenient, so convenient. Just imagine going home, placing your phone, Apple Watch and AirPods all on that singular charger and not worrying about any cables or other wireless chargers, just simple and that wireless charging sound. It was the dream, but the dream is now dead. And the only difference that, from what I see, in between the Slick Charge and the classical Dream Air Power is that one, the Slick Charge only has three coils. So you have to specifically place your Apple Watch, your phone, and your AirPods. But on Air Power, it had multiple overlaying coils in theory. So you could place your iPhone, AirPods, or Apple Watch anywhere and it would charge, not for Slick Charge. And yes, Slice Charge does not have that amazing air power animation, which I play for my intro every single video. That was how much I was obsessed with air power, but it is canceled. And now we have to look to the alternatives. We have Samsung Charger Duo as a possibility. We of course have the regular Belkin and Mophie ones. 
We have the good Nomad that charges two G standard devices. And then of course we have this Slice Charge one, which I recommend, I don't have it personally, but I'm probably gonna get it in the near future. But that is all we have for today. I just had to bring you the news of Apple AirPower officially being discontinued. R.I.P. R.I.P. AirPower. You were, you were amazing as a dream for 2016 to 2019. And I will see you in the next one. Three, two, one. Ah!